is that you still feel um, the warmth and goodness when someone contacts you and said, you know, something you said today, Charles, made my day. And something you said uh, made a relative think twice before they did this. When you said that, I, I, I honestly, I, I had a better rest of my day. I almost became that person that wanted to reach out to you and tell you that what you said on that podcast meant a lot to me. And I, I just want to, um, I just want to know um, how how does a person who's been in this business as long as you have not become desensitized to those types of people that reach out to you? Because they're worth more than money to me. Because. I grew up with people who had been traumatized by ideology. They were traumatized by both fascism and communism. I know what that looks like. I know what it feels like. And I also know that some of it is, has gotten into my, my bones because that's what trauma does. And so when I know that there are people listening or watching, reading, something that I'm involved in. And I know that those people exist because I've seen them, not just in terms of my own family, but so many other families. And I know that they need someone to have empathy for them, to have compassion for them, to understand them, to be aware of that. And and they, they do respond. And there are many situations where people have stopped themselves from, from doing destructive things to others and to themselves. And I'm keenly aware of it because they contact me. That is worth more than money to me. Would I make much more money as a hate monger? Absolutely. Do I have the, the pipes, the, the delivery, the imagination uh, to create the kind of vivid language that uh, can create a lot of hate and clicks and coins? Well, of course, I choose not to do that path. And the reason for that, there's only one real reason for that. I can't do that to my ancestors. I can't do that to my late father. He's on my shoulder right now. And I'm never gonna do anything that embarrasses him. And I'm never gonna do anything that wouldn't make him feel my son. That's my son. You know, for years we had a falling out because he didn't want me to be a, a radio guy. He wanted me to be a, a prosecutor. Specifically, he wanted me to be a war crimes prosecutor because war crimes wiped out most of his family. And he was told by his friends, lawyers, judges, other people, uh, that I had all the tools to be a, a prosecutor and, and, and maybe even a, a war crimes uh, prosecutor at, at The Hague. And so that was my father's dream. And so when I took what he thought of as the easy way out, telling stories on the radio, you know, to him, that was the easy way out because my mom was a a natural born storyteller and I, I have her DNA in me. And so here it is, I'm doing that. So to my father, he just didn't take that seriously. So for years, we didn't, we didn't talk very much. But when he was in the throes of Alzheimer's and was talking hardly at all, one of the caregivers one day is visiting with my father to do what caregivers need to do for people suffering from dementia. God, God bless them all. And they're all immigrants, by the way, okay? You wonder you wonder why I'm pro-immigration. You wonder why I get my, my back up about the right-wing nut jobs who hate on immigrants. Immigrants are helping our people, our people with dementia and everything else in, in various care homes right across this country. I can't love our immigrant population enough. And so one of the caregivers is doing what needs to be done for my dad and my dad is listening to the radio and it's me we were doing a syndicated show at the time and popped up in montreal and he would listen to it from from beginning to end even when he was getting deeper into the alzheimer's he was just somehow still attached to that radio and he wasn't talking very much at all but he said to the caregiver he pointed at his little lloyd's radio and he pointed and he actually said a few words he said my son my son, that means everything to me. At some level, at some level, he knew that I was doing some, some things that he was proud of.